am deeply honored to stand before this esteemed gathering to celebrate United Nations Day 2024. Let me extend, extend my heartiest greetings to the entire UN family and commend the courageous peacekeepers from around the world, particularly those serving at present in the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon. Then their unwavering dedication and fearlessness in the face of increasingly complex challenges and hard situations exemplify, exemplify the true spirit of peacekeeping and inspire all of us to uphold global peace and security. At the outset, I express my sincere thanks to the Ministry of Defense and the Nepali Army for organizing this important event. I also appreciate all the international delegates, UN experts and dignitaries for your presence here today. Your presence reflects the solidarity which is crucial for reinforcing the determination to uphold the values that global community wishes for. This day offers an opportunity to reiterate our steadfast commitment to the ideals of the UN Charter. For decades, we have been a persistent advocate of peace, equality, cooperation, and the peaceful resolution of conflict in the international arena. Our long contributions to the UN peacekeeping missions, international treaties, and disarmament efforts reflect our dedication to global tranquility and harmony. I am imm immensely proud of our peacekeepers whose tireless dedication has left a lasting mark on conflict-affected regions in every nook and corner of the globe. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as part of our foreign policy, we are always adhering to the principles of peace, ex peaceful exist coexistence, mutual respect for sovereignty and non-interference. Our position as a nation located between two large neighbors demands that we maintain the policy of friendship to all and enmity to none. Furthermore, we are firmly committed to multilateralism, strongly believing, believing that global challenges like climate change poverty and security challenges, which starkly require a collective and multilateral solutions. Nepal, being a responsible and effectively engaging number of state in the international community, would like to play a constructive role to move forward peace, stability, and sustainable development all around the world. Today, I would like to remind all of us that our part partnership and collectiveness reinforce the UN to effectively carry out its critical missions, often in, the, in some of the world's most challenging environments. I also acknowledge with deep gratitude and spirit of collaboration that drives the UN country teams, UN field missions, and specialized UN agencies working diligently across the globe. Their dedication to development, peace building, and humanitarian support is a shining example of how united efforts can create lasting and positive change for millions of people. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and 
gentlemen. We are proud of our long peacekeeping history and we are committed to send skilled and competent peacekeepers however the UN calls for, whenever the UN calls for. However, peace operations are facing growing challenges. They are increasingly at risk from violent groups and dynamic security situations. Conflicts are becoming more and more complex, so the conflict management and resolutions require a strong international support and solidarity. Therefore, it is crucial that countries like ours provide forces with the tools needed to stay safe while carrying out their missions. The government of Nepal fully supports efforts to ensure the safety, training and readiness of our peacekeepers. We are also deeply committed to the meaningful participation of women as their participation exhibits a symbolic representation by which women empowerment is established in conflict ridden society. Nepal also has wholeheartedly endorsed the declaration of shared commitments in support of the Action for Peacekeeping initiative and its enhanced version, the FOP Plus initiative, spearheaded by the United Nations. These initiatives reflect our border broader vision of collective global security and Nepal readiness to shoulder its responsibilities as a responsible member of the international community. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in the event of United Nations Day 2024 celebration, we should also recognize the broader challenges, broader challenges the global community faces particularly the urgent global environmental concerns. The 79th UN General Assembly highlighted the growing impacts of climate change, biodiversity loss, and environmental degradation. As we all know, countries like Nepal, despite contributing minimally to global carbon emission, are disproportionately affected by this crisis. We are witnessing the melting of our glaciers, unpre un unpredictable monsoons, and a surge in mutual disasters like every year takes every, any, many, 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 away, takes away many lives and damages the properties. Recent monsoon disaster in Nepal with regrettable loss of lives and properties is evident through enough of the growing challenges we face. These challenges transcend national borders as we recently saw the disastrous Hurricane Milton devastating Florida in the U.S. Thus, it is high time for us to collectively fight against common threat of humankind. Let me also reiterate that Nepal is committed to playing its part and stand, stands ready to collaborate with global partnerships that prioritize climate resilience and sustainability. We are confident that the UN's continued leadership in addressing climate change issue will guide us forward for shared solutions, which are essential for the survival of vulnerable nations like ours. <coughs> Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in this volatile and ambiguous situation around the world, Nepal remains steadfast in its commitment to the principles of the United Nations. 
we will continue to support global efforts to promote peace, security, sustainable development, and environmental protection. Before concluding my few words, I would like to extend my heartiest thanks to all the dignitaries present here today, from home and abroad, for our valuable, for your valuable time. Your presence has made this event a success. On behalf of the people of Nepal, I wish the entire UN family a joyous United Nations Day. Nepali Army is deeply privileged and honored to host this stream gathering this morning at Army Stadium. As we gather here to celebrate United Nations Day 2024, I would like to extend my heartiest gratitude to our Chief Guest, Right Honorable Prime Minister, for your gracious presence. My sincere thanks also goes to the Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, and all distinguished guests for your remarkable participation. Today, as we mark this occasion, we acknowledge the vital role that the UN continues to play in promoting peace, security, and international cooperation. In that spirit, I pause to pay tribute to the brave men and women who have served in various UN peacekeeping missions, many of whom have sacrificed their life in the pursuit of a safer and more peaceful world. Their dedication and sacrifice have paved the way for a better future, and we hold their memory close to our hearts, deeply inspired by their courage and sacrifice. Furthermore, I extend my deepest gratitude to all UN personnel for, the, for their tireless work to uphold the values that we honor today. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, UN continues to play a symbol of hope for millions worldwide by promoting peace, preventing conflicts, and supporting those in need. Nepal, after joining the United Nations in 1955, has been an active and committed member ever since. Our nation has consistently provided skilled peacekeepers, earning a reputation as a reliable contributor to international peace efforts. Notably, currently, Nepal is the top contributor deploying peacekeepers worldwide in various UN peace operations. This commitment has not only helped the United Nations to carry out its mandate, but also enhanced Nepal's standing in the global community. As a soldier, I had had the honor to serving a peacekeeper. I am proud to stand among all peacekeepers who have done the same. I also want to acknowledge the outstanding contribution of the Nepal Police, Nepal Armed Police Force of Nepal, who have alongside the Nepali Army, have served in conflict zones across Africa, Asia, Europe, and Middle East. Together, we have demonstrated Nepal's unfaltering commitment to global peace and security. The dedication and courage of Nepali peacekeepers in representing our nation and contributing to international peace and security is truly commendable. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are all aware that current peacekeeping environment around the world is characterized by complex conflict involving both the state and 
non state actors field missions are multi dimensional they face resource constraint and force protection itself has become more and more challenging uh, challenging while carrying out the given mandate furthermore we take pride in deploying highly trained contingents and professional experts in the mission we carefully select unit commanders military observers and headquarters staff in addition the nepali army is enhancing peacekeeping capability readiness system to meet the government's commitment of providing 10000 peacekeepers in that line with our commitment to the global peace nepal has developed the bridge peace operation training center in pathal as a center of excellence this initiative includes regular un related peace operation training and infrastructure development reflecting our dedication to preparing effective peacekeepers distinguished guests excellencies ladies and gentlemen at the end once again i would like to express my heartiest gratitude to today's chief guest the right honorable prime minister prime minister and honorable ministers for sparing your valuable time to grace this occasion i also extend my gratitude to all our distinguished guests your excellency ambassadors commandants of various peace operation training centers from south asia and un resident coordinator for your valuable presence your presence and relentless support hold great significance for the nepali army i would also like to express my thanks to the directorate of peace operation of nepali army participating team of nepal police armed police force of nepal and various units and formations to make this event a success finally i would like to extend my best wishes to the entire un family happy united nations day 2024 thank you thank you very much